Good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Taz. Um, today I wanted to do something a little different. I haven't done it before. The morning has been kind of wild. I've barely really gotten myself ready for the day. Um, my cat just pooped on my carpet. I don't know why, because the litter is all clean. And I'm annoyed, because why do cats do that? I keep their stuff so clean. Every day I do their litter, and she still does it. So, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just going to get rid of all my little carpets and she won't have a space anymore. My house will just be ruined. It's fine. It's okay. Anyways, um, that was an overshare, but I mean, I feel like we all go through that, right? I'm not the only one whose cat does this. Can't be. Um, any hoosies. So, ow. Um, when was it? Friday. Friday. I think it was Friday. I got a nasty review on my shop, right? For someone that literally didn't give me more than like 10 minutes to answer um, their request. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to put anybody on blast. But I was, let's say for lack of better terms, annoyed. Um, and I bitched about it a lot on my Instagram. It was for a $13 plant going to California from Virginia. Okay, that's a very big trek. Um, my heat packs last 72 hours not seven days. USPS took seven days. This person selected first class shipping, which would have been longer. And I upgraded them out of my own sweet kindness to priority. So that came out of my own pocket for a $13 plan. I, I upgraded them for free because I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm so nice. But to reward me for that um, little lock up that USPS took the damn time, which to be fair, it is across the country, right? So, and there's an Arctic cold front that week, which, yes, I scheduled that, told the weather to be extra freaking freezing that week because, like, I wanted to upset someone that bad that I just, I coordinated the weather and I coordinated with USPS to take their time and that was on me. That was my fault. Yep, that was my fault. So, today I'm going to show you how I package my plants with heat packs. All of them are going to have heat packs. I have seven orders. I don't know if I will share, showcase all of them or I'll just do a super speed fast, right? Because we don't need to sit here and watch me pack. But this way, you'll be able to see the steps I take, um, the, uh, the just, I, I don't know, just how I pack my plants, really. You know, I spend and, and not to bring everything back to money, because like nobody likes to hear somebody talk over and over about money. But I spend a lot of money on packing materials. Most of my costs are for packing materials so that my plants arrive to you safe and sound. It's just me. It's only me. I'm the only one that runs this little hobby shop plant loving thing. It's just me. I love it. I love it. I love my customers. I just, I love it. So... When stuff like that happens, it just, it's like, why? What was the point? Why did you have to do that? You know, like that was mean. That was, that was mean. It wasn't very mindful. You didn't talk to me. And they refunded this person, you know, and I still lost money on it. But that doesn't matter because when someone's angry, especially certain types of people, they don't care. They don't care about your feelings. It's nothing to them. But to me, it's a big blow. So... I'm gonna show you how I package my plants. And hopefully that will ease anybody that's thinking about purchasing from my store, ease your anxiety about the safety of your plant arriving. Because I take extra care in packaging my damn plants. I do. End of story. End of discussion. Now I'm going to go wrap up my carpet first. And then I'm going to package these orders. I'm not going to show you the order slips because the, we have addresses and stuff. But basically, we have some high-priced plants we're shipping off today. I love it. I love you guys for, for trusting my shop with that. It's, you're amazing. I appreciate you so very damn much. So we're going to do that today. And I'm also sending a plant to um, Melissa by Plants. Plants by Melissa? Anyways, if you've looked up YouTube videos on plant people on YouTube, um, she's one that comes up very often. I watch her videos myself. I really like them. Um, she's got a very sweet, gentle personality. I think she is very nice to people that she gets plants from, small shops. And um, last week, 
which a, a lot of people have already seen. She received a pallidiflorum, pallidiflorum, I think that's how you say it, um, in the mail, and it was just covered in thrips and basically dead. And that, after my stressful week, that ticked me off for some reason. That made me so angry, and I'm like, you know, I don't do this. I will never do this. But I was like, hey, I'm going to send you mine because I get them pretty decently priced um, off a live auction. So I was like, I will just send you mine. It's healthy, it's happy, and there are zero pests on it because I love it. And it's growing a new leaf, and I will show you. Hey, let me grab it. All right, so here he is. He has some curling from the shipment five months ago or four months ago that never came right. Here's his big leaf. It's basically my whole forearm here. Um, very pretty, not super uh, mature. He's still a little wee baby. But look at this new leaf. And I am concerned that shipping is gonna stunt that leaf. But even if it does, there's another one here, another growth point coming out here. So she will get another new leaf if it does stun. Now it's going to Georgia, so it's pretty quick. It's not, it's not a long distance. Um, so if I package this correctly, where this won't snap off and these are protected, it should arrive there safe. And the leaf should continue growing if she puts it somewhere warm and encourages that you know growth. So this is it, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, the one she received was just shockingly bad. It was, I was so annoyed for her. I was so annoyed for her. Um, and as you can see, we have a lot of really healthy roots. Of course, we have the old roots in here, which are um, rotten. That's all the old growth from, or before I repotted roots. And the plant regrew its root structure because in my environment it was different from where it was from. So it regrew its roots. Here you can see how beautiful and healthy these roots are. So pretty. I really love this plant. So yeah, I told her to leave it in here. It would be happy in here for a while. Um, but a lot of people like to repot theirs right away, which is fine. This one's pretty, pretty tolerant of all of that. Um, she might want to go in and clean up some of these uh, older roots which would be fine too. The plant wouldn't be angry at her. So yeah, he's super cute and I think she'll like him. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this new leaf is adorable. Look at that. It's gonna be huge if it continues growing. So we'll see. I'm gonna give it some water, pack him up, and I'm gonna make sure the heat pack is warm before it ships so there are no miscommunications. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I am so tired today. I look like shit. I feel like shit. I don't even want to pack plants today. I'm so unmotivated. I hate unmotivated days. But um, slowly gaining some motivation, especially to have this plant arrive, because then I can make somebody happy, um, especially when a lot of things haven't been going right. So let's do that. I'll show you all the plants that we're shipping today, and we'll go from there. All right, next we have... This Luxurians, it's an Anthurium Luxurian. Um, same deal, beautiful roots, they're new roots. There are some older roots in here. Let me see if I can find some bad ones. I guess these are kind of, these are still fine, but they are older, you can see the difference. So he grew his root structure back and he's fine. Um, a very healthy plant, look at those Roots are so happy. So that's one. So it's a big boy, big chunky boy. And then the next one, let me see. All right, I also have this platinum. Let me remove that. Luxurians platinum. So as you can see, the difference between the platinum and the darker one is the color. One is light and one is pretty dark. Um, really pretty. It does have this leaf, which was the only leaf that kind of took some damage after it arrived. We have new root growth, which is why I listed it. And then we have, here's the older root. So you can see it's very common for these anthurium. And this has been like three months or two months. So as you can see, it's really common for um, imported anthurium to kind of have a root structure change. And that's just something I've noticed since doing this. So and then we also have this little pink velvet corm. The girl buying it is so sweet. She's lovely. Um, 
he's a big boy. I do ship my corms mainly in moss because it's light and it doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't really, if, even if it's upside down, it's not going to fall out. I do pack it. You'll see. I mean, you'll see how I do it, but I do pack it with polyfill, shove it in and tape it. So they will be secure. And then we have, let's see. So we did that one. Oh, and then this one hand. All right. And then we have this little crystallinum. Um, silver special is what they're calling it. So he's adorable. We do have a yellowing leaf. I leave Ethereum leaves that are yellowing on the plant because they actually feed from them. So as you can see, these three leaves are gorgeous and I leave those alone. I don't touch them. So this one also has new root growth coming in here. I do need to give it a little bit of water before I ship, but not a lot. As you can see, it's pretty damp. So here's another little air, uh, secondary root coming off those other roots. He is happy and he's ready for a new home. So, which is kind of sad because he's he's honestly so beautiful that I kind of don't want I don't want to sell him. That's okay. I have to go. Bye bye. All right, and then we have this forgettii. It's beautiful. Look at these gorgeous leaves. I will be wiping all these leaves down before shipping. Um, he also has quite cute roots. There are dead roots in here, as you can see. But then he has all of his healthy root growth here. So here's a new root in there growing. So honestly, I suggest to the customers to just leave them. But a lot of people will do, you know, what feels right to them. And if they want to repot, that's fine. That's their decision. It does have four beautiful leaves. It's very happy, um, even though there are some dead roots in here. But again, super normal, as you've seen with all of these other ones. They're just, that's just the, how they are. So um very normal to see that my description now does explain that because but the weather's better cool and you don't have a heat pack i mean what are you expecting you know that's kind of it's kind of your decision at that point so the items that i'm going to be using for this are all right, so first and foremost, I'm going to be using a heat pack. It's a 72 hour heat pack. Typically the box will hold the heat for at least three days. I'm going to open them now so that they uh, touch oxygen and start working so that I can know that I am sending a heat pack that's working. See, it's open the back peels and it has a sticky thing. I tape it on the box as well as taping it with more tape so it doesn't fall on the plant, so it doesn't come loose. And then I'll also tape a barrier over it so that the heat from this doesn't actually dry it out too much or burn it. So those are the steps I take with my heat pack. And then I use a fiber um, styrofoam roll to, I forget what they're called. I forget what it's called, but this thing that I wrap the plant in afterwards, it's a nice breathable, um, safe wrap. And then, of course, we used teddy bear fibers, polyfill. So fiber fill, and that will protect leaves. Ew, I don't know why I did that. Take that back. But, and tape. And of course, it's scissors. I'll show you. And then, um, also to compact the boxes, I used various um, packing supplies to papers, um, blown up little security thingies and hacking peanuts one second all right my scissors <laughs> showing you everything and then i always include a little envelope um these ones do not have the cute little stickers that i have in it because they just arrived the other day but they're so cute they are cute little plant kitties which I think Melissa will really like because she loves her cats. And maybe I can pick one that looks like her cats. That would be cute. So, yeah, they're all so cute. Like, that would be her cat. I think, I don't know, actually. Now I'm blanking on what her cat looks like. But I am obviously a cat lover myself. So I find these so cute. They love uh, but other than that, everything's ready to go. So we're going to aim the camera down, we're going to sit down, and we're going to start packing these orders. And they're going to be fast so that you don't have to worry about me chatting the whole time. It'll just be this first part. <laughs> okay, bye.
Okay, so I'm gonna break down her order first so that you can just kind of see um, my decision making process for some of these. So I'll break down hers as best I can. This is already starting to warm up. Yeah, that's good, okay. fill whatever you want to call it and I actually put it underneath the stem if I can get under there especially since there's new growth coming in here I want to make sure that everything is secure and nothing's gonna snap off on its journey you know since it's so long. I did clean off the table. Um, I kept it away from other plants to make sure that there's no cross-contaminating anything in case something else has something, even though I just wiped them all down. But never say never, you know, never say never. So what I think I'm going to do, this is a little bit of a tricky one. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and lay it down. So I'm gonna try and lay him down like this carefully. I'm very nervous about this plant traveling. <laughs> Literally, sorry, my head is probably in the picture. Okay, so I'm going to try and very carefully move this plant so it sits nice. And then before I, he's a little strained, so it makes me so goddamn nervous. I hate that. Okay, so we're gonna pack this 
real carefully because there's that new baby starter growth point there. We're gonna keep his angle like that. So I'm sorry, it's my head in it. Yeah, okay. We're gonna move my head. And I'm like so close to <laughs> keep putting my head in there. Let me see if I can turn this like this. That way my head might be not in it as much. Okay, so here's the new leaf. And there's this point here, which I think is just the caterpillar for it. I don't know what Ethereum caterpillar are called. Probably something similar. I don't know if it's the same or not, but. So as you can see, I'm gonna carefully lift these. Then these snap so easily if you're not careful. And we obviously want to avoid that. <laughs> so we're gonna just literally line this thing because once we close it up, it'll it'll cinch like this. So and I like to put polyfill underneath every leaf in between leaves so that no leaf is touching another leaf because that could inevitably damage, that could damage it. It touching another leaf could really be the, the breaking point for the plant. So see how I've like kind of wrapped this like this and then to secure the shape, I'm gonna put more here and then we're gonna put a little more here and I'm gonna put a tiny bit over this baby. This is the one we're most scared of. I'm so scared it gets stunted and I'm sorry if my head is in it again. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to actually cinch this like this. And then I'm gonna tape this. And I'm going to hold it and roll it. And we'll use more because I overdid it a bit. <laughs> the roll, I under rolled it. So. But it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Huh? And then we will add in poly where we can see it. Especially since this is such a high risk for snapping, we really want to be careful not to snap it. And then I will get I'm like shaking. I'm so nervous that this plant doesn't make it good. <laughs> I mean, I know it's been rare since that I've ever had a plant not arrive safe and sound, but it still stresses me out. You know, I care very much about my plant. This was my personal plant. You know, I on a whim decided to sell it, or not sell it, but give it to her because I felt bad. But this is a personal plant. I genuinely love this plant, so. For me, it's it's nice to be able to give someone something that um, they like. And she does such a good job uh, maintaining her channel and uh, updating it and which I'm very bad at. I'm not very consistent. She's very consistent. So I don't know if you can see in here, but well, now you can. I'm going to carefully pack around the leaf. It's very important to secure, obviously, the plant once it's in here, especially in this flimsy um, case. We want to make sure we haven't bent the tip at all. But I do want to cover that like that. And then I will take And secure it like that. And then I will lay this. I want to make sure I'm laying it on a good side, yeah, like this. And then let me get a box. Hang on. All right, let's package up her box. I did get this box from a friend who got a <laughs> plants earlier. I have the greatest plant friends here ever. Seriously, they bring me their boxes all the time. Since they sell local, I, I ship. It's very convenient for me. I love them. All right, so we're going to put this at the base here. I am, of course, very scared. I'm gonna twist it like this, and I'm also going to try and tape the plant hot. 
that I really need to, but it makes me feel better. this way so to get her heat pack which is starting to warm up I'm gonna tape it at the bottom by the top of the leaves like this see how close it is I don't like that it's so close so what I'm gonna do is first tape this down so it doesn't fall on her plant um, even though we're gonna secure it and then hang on hold up we are going, let's, let's use this cute little piece of paper. So the heat will still come out. It'll also retain heat for a little bit longer this way. Um, so, so that, oops, I kind of really did that bad. And then, so that's good. Let's get her envelope. package is packed and it is secure and it should stay very warm and it should make it within three days because she is probably four hours from me three hours four hours so it should be there tomorrow honestly or the next day at least the very least so yay all right i'm gonna stop and restart with the new orders
That was the end of that. Um, as you can see, I pack a very specific way. I then label the boxes, take them to the back, and I weigh them, measure them, um, print out their labels, put the labels on, and then I drop them off at the post office. And then I go about my life, I guess, because <laughs> I'm more done. And that's how I do it every time. Every time that's how I pack it, I try my best to pack it as close and as secure as possible. Sometimes it's difficult depending on the plant, um, but usually what people don't understand or realize, I should say not understand, um, a lot of the plants that get purchased end up being in a larger box because of the way I pack the plant, which is no fault of the customer. And usually I end up paying uh, like five to seven, sometimes $20 more for a plant being shipped. Um, which can always be a pain. So I might end up actually setting a fixed amount for shipping to help uh, cover that in case that happens as well as the packing materials, you know? I don't know, I haven't decided because Etsy, it, it makes it difficult for, for us shipping plants to kind of guesstimate what it's gonna be in the size of the box because I don't know if the leaves have to be packed facing up or if they can pack you saw how some of the leaves i tested i felt how malleable the stem was if i faced it up and then if i kept it down like this if i feel like it's going to snap in shipment i will face it up or down based on how strong the stem is um and i don't really know that until i'm salem until i'm really packing the plant and that two or three inches more, four inches more, can add on $15 to the shipping. So I really just don't know. It's not something I can really accurately. Salem, stop it. He's like scratching on the window. Um, sorry. But yeah, I can't, I can't really figure out or guess like what it's gonna be. So I just do that and then I just, whatever, you know, it helps me anyways. Uh, people are, are coming by the shop. It's adding to my reviews. It's adding to my shop count. So it works out in the end. Um, I will say for Etsy is kind of, it's a difficult platform because they really, they take a lot from us, um, which is kind of annoying. There's fees for like everything, which I don't know if I should be complaining about on here, but they really do take so much. So, I mean, it's ridiculous and you can Google that too. Like they just take so much from us. So sometimes, you know, a small plant isn't really worth it um, unless it's, pa that's why we say add on plants because if I just sold a $5 plant, I'd make like $1 off of it, um, which that's not really worth all the time that I put into it. As you see, it's a lengthy process, it's tedious. So um, it really just depends. But yeah, I'll go finish that up and get them shipped off 
and hopefully they'll be to those lovely customers very soon because they are so cute and so healthy and I love it. So yeah, um, if you watched this and this was super helpful to see or made you maybe encouraged you to shop my shop, I know that the, the uh, my shop is low right now um, in terms of quantity of plants. I do have a whole rack of plants here that's actually acclimating. I refuse to list plants that are not properly acclimated. I don't want to just flip plants right away. So they will take a little bit, probably a month, two weeks to a month, depending on um, what kind of root growth I see. And I also have three other orders coming. So I have uh, an Indonesian order coming that will have a bunch of philodendron. Uh, I haven't ordered from my philodendron uh, contact in a while. So he reached out and is sending me a bunch of plants and I'm excited for that. So, and then I have another order coming from Ecuador, which will have more shop plants in it, as well as some really exciting personal plants. So I will do an unboxing for those because you are going to want to see what I got. You're going to want to see what I got. I am so, I can't, I can't explain to you how excited I am for these plants to get here. Like my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. I'm so excited. And, um, Oh, it's going to be wild. So if that plant arrives sad, or I'll probably cry on camera. I'll cry and then I'll show you because I'll be so devastated. Uh, but that won't be for a while. That'll be uh, mid-February, I believe. That special one is coming. I have one coming February 5th. And then I have another one that will come uh, two weeks from now, which is kind of like mid-February, isn't it? Kind of. The, the beginning of mid-February. <laughs> So I'll have like three boxes all at like the same time, uh, but I'm excited for it. So it'll be fun. And then once they are ready, I will list them for you. I don't know if you can see here. Hang on. There they are. Um, my plant room right now from packing is quite a mess. So that's the first thing on my list when I get back from dropping the plants off. It's clean my shop room and then my dishes and then clean all of the pots and uh, watering like catch cu cash cups for all my plants because it's like a huge mess here. And yeah, so I will get that done, hopefully, because now I feel motivated. That's all it takes is a little bit of work and then I'm right back in my emotional game or mental game. I just really struggle like catching the motivation way of at first. I have to like force myself else I would just sit there like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but once I get started, I love it and I'm having fun and it's, it goes great. So, <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, look for those, uh, unpacking, unboxing videos. Super excited. And if you have any ideas for the video that I'd like to do on like kind of, um, controversial topics in the plant community, write them in there. I want to know, cause I don't know really what to talk about. I know a couple of things, but I might Goog some stuff and see like what people can, uh, butt heads out uh, on the most and uh, go from there because uh, we know there's a lot of uh, conflictual, if you will, uh, tips and tricks and stuff that some people might say, oh my god, don't do that. And then others might be, that's all you want to do, you know, so you never know. But anyways, yay. I'm going to go do that and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I don't know when I'll post this, probably today or tomorrow because I just posted one yesterday. So maybe tomorrow or today. I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, have a great week and I will see you next time.